Hi, thanks for watching Food with Len. Today I'm going to do baked potatoes. This guy right here. Uh, what's really nice about these guys is they're cheap. You can get a bag of uh, 10 pounds of them for like three, four dollars. And uh, they're really, really good. And baked potatoes are really aren't hard to make. Uh, although it's one of the, seems to be one of the most searched potato items on YouTube. So I figured I'd give you my take on how to make a baked potato. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pick a potato that's, you know, the right size for baking. This is a good looking one, and, and a lot of them are. You know, you can go really huge, you can go really small, anywhere in between. But what we're going to do is we're going to make this so that you can also eat the skin. And by doing that, we're just going to go ahead and clean that up a little bit. Okay, to clean a potato, it's pretty simple. I like the looks of that one. I'm just going to keep that one handy there. But... Uh, all you do is you just put it, run it under some water. It can be cold water, it can be warm water, it really doesn't matter. I like warm water because it's just more comfortable to do. And then you just take a little scrubber and you just kind of get the dirt out of it. And, uh, you know, pretty basic stuff. Not a whole lot involved in that. So I'll go ahead and clean these up and we'll get them ready to put in the oven. Okay, once your potatoes are nice and clean, the next thing you want to do is just pierce them with something. And it really doesn't matter. You can use a fork, you can use a knife, use whatever. And you just want to punch a couple of holes in them. I want to say about three or four if you're using a fork or whatever. Uh, we didn't used to do this back in the day, but, uh, you know, uh, when microwaving started, then they started doing that. And uh, usually I just have roll off but I have have some of these wrapper things that come pre whatever and uh, you would just pull off enough off of uh, off of your roll of aluminum foil and then you just pretty much cover it up like so and just tuck it together on the ends and you just do that with as many potatoes as you have it can be one it can be two it can be 22 it can be as many as you want and preheat your oven to 400 degrees and uh, this can also be done in a toaster oven, which is really, really handy. So now we have our potatoes just ready to go in. And I'm just waiting for the oven to heat. And once it's at 400, I'll just set them in on the regular oven rack. And uh, we'll leave them in there for an hour. All right, my oven's heating up, and it's pretty close to there. It really doesn't matter all that much because we're talking about an hour here. So I just set them on the center rack of the oven like so. And uh, just close the lid and uh, check back in an hour and we'll see how they are. All right, it's been about an hour. It's probably been just a little over an hour. And our potatoes have been in the whole time. So we'll go ahead and take them out and put them on a plate. All right, so I've got a plate here and I'm going to take one of my potatoes. I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap it like so. And there you have it, baked potato. Now, the best way to open this baked potato that I've found is just take a fork and just poke along the top here. And also, you can feel that it's uh, very tender and moist inside. And I like to just poke it along the top and give it a nice little squeeze like so. And then that way you can put your butter, uh, sour cream, whatever you want to in there and you have a perfectly ready to go complete baked potato. And I'm just going to put a little butter in that. Dab of butter and then you can add salt and pepper to taste. I like a big old slab of butter in mine. But uh, yeah, add a little butter, a little salt and pepper and you're good to go. Well thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped you bake a potato. If it has, please comment, rate, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more potato videos today, as a matter of fact. So look for those on my channel. And we'll catch you in another video. Thanks.